time for question 5. The following histograms summarize the teaching year for the teachers at two high schools A and B. Teaching year is recorded as an integer, with first year teachers recorded as 1, second year teachers recorded as 2, and so on. Both sets of data have a mean teaching year of 8.2. Both of them has mean of 8.2, with data recorded from 200 students at a high school A. So there are 200 teachers at a high school A, and 221 teachers at high school B. So that's 221. On the histograms, each interval represents possible integer values from the left-hand point up to but not including the right-hand point. So for this one, you're looking at 1 year all the way to 3 years, so not including 4. And for the next one, we have 4 year all the way up to 6 years of teaching. And we're looking at how many teachers responded 1 through 3, 4 through 6, 7 through 9, and so on. Part A. The median teaching year for one high school is 6, and the median teaching year for the other high school is 7. Identify which high school has each median, and justify your answer. Just by looking at the graph, it looks like there are more people concentrated in 1 through 6 year range for the high school B, for the high school B compared to high school A. So it seems like so it seems like the median of 6 should go to high school B, and median of 7 should go to high school A. But then again, there is difference in sample size. For high school A, we're looking at 200 teachers. For high school B, we're looking at 221 teachers. So that may offset which one gets 6 and which one gets 7. So just to check, let's look at what proportion of the teachers got 1 year all the way through 6 years in high school A, and what proportion of teachers got 1 year through 6 years for high school B. So for high school A, so for high school A, the number of teachers that got 1 year all the way to 6 years, number of teachers that got 1 year all the way to 6 years is around, that looks like 46 and this one looks like 48. So the number of teachers that got 1 through 6 years of teaching is 46 plus 48 or 94. For high school B, for high school B, that number is around 79 plus 34, which is 113. So 79 plus 34 or 113. For high school A, we have how many teachers? We have 200 teachers. So we want to look at around the hundredth value. And for high school B, we have 221 teachers. So we're looking at around 100.5th value. And we see that for high school A, the number of teachers that have taught 6 years or below is lower than the midpoint, is lower than the 100th value. And for high school B, the number of teachers that taught 6 years or lower is more than the, more than the center value. So we know for high school A, the median has to be larger than 6, so 7 has to go to high school A. Which means for high school B, median has to be 6, which makes sense. There is no contradiction. If you want to write it out, you can say for high school A, for school A, less than half, less than half of the teachers, half of the teachers, half of the teachers taught 6 years or lower, taught 6 years or less. Thus, Thus, high school A cannot have a median of 6. Cannot have a median of 6. It has to be larger than 6. Median of 6. So it has to be 7, which means high school B has to have 6, and that makes sense. Part B. An additional 18 teachers were not included with the data recorded from 200 teachers at high school A. The mean teaching year of the 18 students is 2.5. What is the mean teaching year for all 218 teachers at high school A? Well, for the 200 original teachers, for the 200 teachers, what was the sum of years taught? Sum of, sum of years taught. For 200 teachers, our mean was 8.2. Our mean was 8.2, so the sum of the years taught should be 8.2 times 200 mean times the number of values should get you the sum, or 1640. So that's for 200 teachers. 
and for the extra 18 teachers that came in, for the extra 18 teachers, the sum of the years taught should be 18 times 2.5 or 2.5 times 80, just to keep the symmetry, 2.5 times 18, also known as 45. So we know we can now find the mean because mean teaching year is going to be the total years taught, years taught, divided by total number of teachers, number of teachers. And the total years taught is going to be 1640 plus 45, and the total number of teachers is 218, 200 plus 18. And when you evaluate this, you should get 7.729 years. Part C, the standard deviation of the teaching year for 221 teachers at high school B is 7.2. If one teacher is selected at random from high school B, what is the probability that the teaching year for the selected teacher will be within one standard deviation of the mean of 8.2? If you use empirical rule and say 68%, that's wrong because empirical rule only applies for normal distribution. In our case, we have a pretty skewed distribution, so you have to use the histogram. And we want to, we want to be within one standard deviation of 8.2 and standard deviation is 7.2. So we want to be in between 8.2 minus 7.2 and 8.2 plus 7.2. So we want to be in between 1 and 15.4, which means we want our teaching year, since it can only be integer, to be in between 1 and 15.4, so inclusive, or one, between 1 and 15. So we want to find the proportion of teachers whose, whose years taught is between 1 and 15 inclusive. And let's go to high school B. And we want to go from 1 year all the way to 15 years. So 1 year all the way to 15 years, which is right here. So let's find the numbers. We have 79, 34. This looks like 28. This looks like 29. And this looks like 19. So if you add up all of those, 79 plus 34 plus 28 plus 29 plus 19, you should get 189. So there is 189. 189 out of how many teachers? 221 teachers. So that should be the probability.